Uh, progressives took over the Nevada State Democratic Party. You won through Democratic elections. Um, right away, it seems that the uh, old guard, which Harry Reid was basically the boss of the Nevada <laughs> everything, uh, that a lot of them kind of took their ball and went home. They weren't happy that progressives took over. But the new development, the new developments now is even though you are the duly elected chairwoman of the state party, a progressive, and other uh, whatever they want to call it, Bernie backed, DSA backed progressives have taken leadership. The Democratic National Committee federally, instead of recognizing you and working with you to win elections, to fundraise, what have you, they're now working around you basically with, correct me if I'm wrong, a not affiliated super PAC. Can you tell me what's going on? Sure. So <clears throat> I think everyone has probably heard the history by now of how we won the election. It was a lot of organizing, but we won a fair election. Um, from the time that we won that election, there was a refusal by the old guard to actually work with us. So they met secretly with Washoe County Democratic Party and, and then released a press release saying that they were going to host the coordinated campaign and all of the party, all of the um, elected officials campaigns out of Washoe County instead of working with the state party. Um, and so there's been this drive since then to circumvent and work around the entire state party structure, even though we've been doing the work, doing the job that we were elected to do, which is expand the Democratic Party, make sure that, you know, we're including everyone and everyone has, you know, their voices are heard, they're able to participate in the process. We do community outreach, community engagement, community service throughout the year, not just paying lip service at election time. And we have openly set, stated that we support the reelection of all our democratic candidates. They still do not want to work with us. We've tried over and over again to get them to the table, to get them to talk to us, to get them to respond to us. Um, and then through a lot of investigative work, we were able to uncover a lot of documentation that showed that this, this was in process prior to our election because their internal polling showed them that I was going to win the election. They immediately made moves to start this process. So even though they're trying to claim that they can't trust us, they can't work with us, they didn't even give us a chance because as soon as they saw that I was going to win the election, they transferred $450,000 out of the, the treasury um, to the DSCC. Then they transferred $18,000 out of the treasury to Washoe County Dems. And they gave away our entire state voter file, which is illegal for $0, you know, signed a contract with a PAC to give them our entire state voter file. And then they turned around and initiated a transfer of our state voter file to Washoe County. So all of these things were put into play before we even actually won office because they were anticipating that we would win office. And then, you know, all the documentation we have proves that. And then from day one, they have made statements like, we're going to destroy the state party. Um, the only way we'll work with the party is if they hand over the keys and hand over control. You know, things like statements like that, whereas we've said nothing along those lines. We've kept the upper hand, upper road and said, hey, you know, we can work together on this. I just I just want to boil this down so the audience gets it because I'm not a lawyer, but some of sure. this uh, some of this sounds very fishy and uh, straddling the line legally. Number one, there was elections held, so the Democratic Party has been talking about we got to fight for voting rights. Uh, yeah. They have been uh, rightly so knocking down Trump's crazy you know uh, election fraud nonsense, which is not mm -hmm. true. So they've been saying we're, you know, we're the party of democracy, free and fair elections, this and that. You, other progressives, won a fair election, uh, fair election. So you took over the leadership of the party. Yep. When you won, they literally basically cleaned out the cookie jar. Yeah. They took they took huge sums of money that the new leaders would need just to get all, you know. You just get elected. You obviously need a pot of money to, for for everything that a that a state party does. They basically, I don't, I don't know if, yeah, I mean, I, I stole it. I, I don't know. I mean, that was yeah. the property of the Nevada. That was the property of the Nevada State Democratic Party, which progressives had just won an elect won an election to take over. Right. They stole the money. They stole the money. Then they basically create. From what the sounds of it, they've created a shadow 
state party. Yes. Run by establishment old guard people. As it turns out, polling shows that the majority of Nevadans support progressive policies. So they're not representing Nevadans by doing this either. Um, they're really only re representing self-interest. And basically, you know, the whole consulting class under the Reed machine is still functioning and has hijacked, you know, the whole coordinated campaign because there's mm. tons of money in an election. I'm sure you know that there's way too much money that flows through in these elections and the majority of it goes to consultants. And, right. you know, these consultants that have been doing business with the state party for a long time don't want to do business with us because we have certain standards. You know, we've said, hey, we're only going to work with local and minority vendors. We're going to make sure that, you know, that we're being efficient. We're not going to pay three different companies for the same service. I think that we found and have uncovered since we took office are just atrocious. And so we want to uh, basically end that toxic culture and create a level playing field for all Democratic candidates. And, and that's from the beginning, what I've said during my campaign and what we've been able to start achieving. And they don't like that, pure and right. simple. It's all about power and control. It really has nothing to do with ideology. Ideology is never mentioned. They never talk about us pushing for progressive policy. It's all about, oh, they can't trust us. There's no way they can possibly trust us. What does that even mean? <laughs> and then so they filed this complaint with Chair Harrison. And so Chair Harrison called me and said, hey, you know, this is unprecedented. We've got all these elected officials that are that are mad. And I'm like, well, that's nice. It would have been nice if they had called me or complained to us once. They never did. They wouldn't return our calls. They wouldn't respond to us. They wouldn't they wouldn't schedule meetings with us. And then all of a sudden to have this complaint sitting with Chair Harrison. And then he says to me, I, after I tried to explain to him what's been going on and everything, and he seemed to be listening. And, and, and you know, I asked him, I said, you know, can you hold off on, on doing anything? Let us resolve this. I mean, if they want van access, we've been trying to give it to them for almost a year now. So let us just give it to them, tell them they have to get it from the state party and don't give it to them through Washoe County. And he seemed like he was, you know, not going to do that. He was only going to give it to the top, you know, elected officials. And that was it. Um, and then we got a word a few days later that he indeed did exactly what they wanted. He gave it to Washoe County to give to them. And we don't even know if Washoe County is selling it, if they're giving it for free, if they're doing the, the appropriate reporting that they're required to do for in-kind contributions. We don't know because we don't have access. We can't see it. We can't mm -hmm. see what they're doing. And so we're going into this blind. <laughs> and in the end, he says, well, you know, my hands are really tied in this because I got a call from the White House. I'm like, oh, well, that's great. So basically, this is a directive from the White House. So let me be let me just make sure I have it. Let me make sure I have it right. The DNC chairman, Jamie Harrison, who you who you you spoke with about the fact that basically the Democratic National Committee has created has created a shadow state party in Nevada so that they they won't actually work with the duly elected leaders. He told you my hands are tied because what the DNC doing is basically they're getting they're getting directives from the White House to basically over you know basically make the elected state party obsolete. <coughs> I don't want to second guess Chair Harrison. All I know is that he told me that his hands were tied because he was getting a call from the White House. Now whether that's you know, calls from the president or calls from political operatives within the White House. I don't know what that means exactly, other than I do know for a fact that political operatives within the DNC have been colluding with NDV from the very start. Leanna, let me ask you, because you're in Michigan. Uh, uh, I've been there a couple of times in my day. No stranger to corruption. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure the state party of Michigan uh, has similar uh, mechanisms. Uh, Michigan is kind of a machine town, just like New York. Seems like Nevada uh, under the Harry 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 Reid machine. Um, what's going on in Nevada? You're a member of the DNC. What's the point of elections for a state for a for a political party, Republican Party, Democratic Party, on the on the actual party level, meaning the DNC, the RNC? What's the point of elections if on the state level? Uh, whether it's progressives or, you know, 
more right leaning Democrats, but in this case, progressives. What's the point if they do the if they do the organizing, if they do the messaging, if they get the votes to take over a state party? But the federal DNC basically says, oh, no, either you're, you're too progressive for us or no, nah, no, nah, you're not you know, you're not with the old guard here. You don't know how things are done. So, you know, you, you could have the title, but we're actually going to go around you. I mean, how do people have faith in the Democratic Party then if elections don't matter? Well, they shouldn't. That's the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, the uh, charter, the Democratic Party charter, right at the in the first paragraph, it says that a party that wishes to lead must demonstrate that it trusts the people that it would lead. And what we're seeing here in Nevada is that Harry Reid and apparently the White House or some operatives in the White House and the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the senators and several of the reps from Nevada um, don't trust the people of the Nevada and are effect effectively giving them a big fuck you. They're saying we don't care who you voted into leadership. We care about who gets to hold the money. That's what we care about. OK, that's what's going on right now in the, in, 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 with, with this uh, uh, Nevada Democratic victory, you know, which is basically like the, the, the literally, literally the people that the Democrats of Nevada just explicitly rejected as their leadership is being given that leadership by Jamie Harrison uh, acting on uh, acting on orders from the White House, apparently. So mm -hmm. that to me, that's not democracy. That's dictatorship. Show me where in the Democratic Party rules it says that Joe Biden, the president of the United States, gets to say jack shit about who runs the party in Nevada or who runs the party in D.C. Because there's no rule that says that the president of the United States, whether he's a Democrat or anybody else, gets to decide who runs the party. The people are supposed to run the Democratic Party. And if the people are not the ones that are running the Democratic Party, we got to ask ourselves, you know, who's really running it? Right. OK, because what because who's run, running it is, is, is the corporations and, and the one percent. Well, um, uh, Chairwoman Whitmer mentioned something, and I, I think something you just touched on, too. It seems like they're less interested in whether it's progressives running it, neoliberals running it, the mailman running it, as long as they have control over the budget. They have control over spending.